Ethan Gold, and welcome back to Factorio. I am joined as ever by Nook. Hello, hello, hello. hello. You're working on your green circuit system still, to... uh, Yeah, kind of. I'm I'm mostly working on the mall, really. I just filled up the train okay. again with some uh, some fuel so that it can actually do something. Ah, right. And we are actually producing uh, stuff. We're, we're producing a lot of stuff. Not all the stuff yet, but some of the stuff. Some and, of the stuff. Yep. Yeah. And I realized that I forgot a very, very important thing in this mall. Probably the most important thing in the entire game. And that's robots. And uh, that is. Sorry? Robots. Robot. Yes, yes, that that would be an important thing. <laughs> very, very that important thing. Uh, I was trying to convince. Uh, I'll, I'll train fix that at some point. So we're actually getting steel on the line as well now. Um, We're not getting stone though. Do, do we have a stone stop? We do have a stone ore pickup. Um, but we need to expand on that. Uh, stone uh, ore. I, I just uh, used your naming convention. Yeah, stone ore. Yeah, it, it just. It seems to work, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> uh, we need a second stone pickup thing so that we can get stones over here. But for now, just so that we get what? rails going, what we could do is... Ah, because that train is... I need to turn my robo port on again so I get stuff delivered. Oh, and we're actually getting red circuits on as well, which we're not making yet, but apparently we had some. Okay. What have I done wrong here? Uh, let's see, are we making chests yet? Not really. What are you missing? We're missing steel Why chests. Go up? Why don't you go up? Which we are making, but we are not sticking them on there so that's a mistake we'll do that Do -do -do. Oh, we were we were sticking them there but they're just not getting up to making Provider chests just yet. Okay, fair enough. Very busy roundabout that center one. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the oval the, about. The, the oval about. Yeah. yeah. It's a very very busy roundabout, and uh, could I could stick signals in the center of it and try and get trains working on two halves of it. I think that'll that be hard. Well, I'm just thinking that, that 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 would kind of work because then any trains that are using just the bottom half of it don't have yeah. to interact with the top half of it. True, true. Yeah, that would help. That would help. Yeah, I can't feel like rail signals would be, train signals would be a bit different. Oh, 
Bump. Nope. Uh, a mic bump. Play the guitar. Play the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so let, let me take you guys through what I've actually done with this mall. Because we actually haven't gone over that yet. So, we have three lines of iron ore or iron plate coming in here. With a fourth... Uh, left out for now because I want to use that for military we have down here we have stone smelting making stone brick which will come up here now on the left hand one we are making a bunch of gears and then we're making all our belts and we're making miners and we're making um, what are they called? Labs, which we're actually full on. So, uh, so that's that part. The next section is making all our inserters. It's making all our chests. It's making beacons. If it ever gets any steel, steel will get there eventually once all the chests are done. And then we're making repair packs and lights. On the third one, we will be making all the assemblers. We'll be making rails, rail stops, and the signals. And on the fourth line, am I missing? I think I'm missing some iron here. I am missing iron on that line. Uh, let's just fix that. There we go. Alright, so on the first one, we are doing pipes. We are doing everything to do with oil, pumps, uh, etc. Uh, refineries, chemical plants. Then we're making a bunch of engines for uh, pumps and... All of the train stuff, so uh, locomotives, the different uh, train cars, um, tanks, and eventually we'll be doing uh, assembling or electric furnaces as well. But I kind of forgot about those, so <laughs> I'll, I'll set those up in a little bit. But uh, so, yeah, and then. Obviously, I forgot about uh, robots as well, which we'll also be doing uh, once I get around to setting that up. But other than that, I think they're pretty well set up for a mall. And it is working and stuffing is being made. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And I did not test it all out at all before I stuck it down. So I built it all and blueprinted it and then i stuck it down when you guys were around and this is the first time i'm seeing it working uh, uh, i i i see where you got the influence for that one from uh build a, blue, build a blueprint without testing it yeah so yeah it, it wasn't well it i did get the inspiration from Sisto, but uh, <laughs> But I kind of I, I wanted to get it built because I figured it would take so long to do uh, on camera. So I wanted to just have it done, uh, so I could yeah. just stick it down and then all right, we have the basics going again, right? For belts and inserters and all that stuff, because else we we would have gone five episodes so... without getting any of that stuff. <laughs> Uh, so you're calling uh, steel down by robots? Uh, well, uh, right now I am, but that's only because I haven't set up a train. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah. so once I there set is up, no train, there is no. Uh, there is no steel train. There is no steel train. Uh, yeah, uh, steel, steel is being made, but um, it's uh, not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so so once I, I get a, a steel train uh, ready, uh, I'll be f freighting it down by train and then it will be going by robots, but from the closer stop so that they don't okay. have to fly all the way across the map. 
So the only thing that is actually built, being belted from these, uh, all these rail stops that we have down here, that is iron plate. Uh, the rest is being done by robots. Uh, but from much closer than where the the things will be being, be being made so so the robots won't have to tra uh, transverse the entire map uh, to deliver stuff they'll just be going back and forth in that little area hopefully okay that that's the idea anyway That's the idea. Where? Put them some red circuits. Where? No, 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 that's green circuits. Red circuits are out there. Okay, fine. Yeah. So, so, so the idea is that over long distances. I want trains, but over short distances, I'm okay with robots. But having the robots going all the way across the map to deliver like two green circuits, that just seems very inefficient to me. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Well, we need some. Uh... I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm using the map with uh, the deconstruction planner to. Uh just tweak a couple of things and I really like it I really like being able to do this at a distance mm -hmm. because that will force all the trains to go up and around and not use it don't need to use this oh, that's Indians they're not getting enough steel yet that makes sense What are you missing? You're... You're missing a lot of engines. Okay, fair enough. They'll come. You're full. We have a hundred pumps. So they won't be taking up uh, any I'm of changing engines. up some of the trains as well. Uh, rather than having them just sit around and wait for 120 seconds. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying uh, five seconds of inactivity. Okay. So, uh, yeah, if they basically if they sit there and nothing unloads for five seconds, they bugger off and carry on doing their thing. So, yeah, well, we're not making rails yet, though, uh, because we need stone on here. How am I getting stone on there? True. I'm doing that there. The moment. So I need some... How many to go up there? But yeah, okay. So, right. What am I doing? I'm down here, I'm trying to do chemical stuff. That was going to be my plan for this episode. Uh, I kind of wanted to change up the chemical pickup. The uh, chemical, uh, the crude oil pickup. Mm-hmm. Could we want to run that along this way? But I've played with trains for the last 50,000 episodes. <laughs> so I kind of think I want to get off of trains and do something different. I can understand that. <laughs> that is a lot of episodes to be playing with trains. It it, it, it felt like 50,000, okay? It's, uh... <laughs> but I'm going to have to deforest this entire area. Mm-hmm. Right, so. Here comes stone. Can we just deforest it anyway? We're making stone brick. This is just a temporary measure that I put in a passive provider chest down at the stone thing. But it actually kind of works. So I'm thinking. Right, there we go. Robots. Let me, let Please me take, take away 6,000 trees.
No, I'm happy with it the way it is. Okay. So we have Stone <laughs> Prick queuing up. My, my bots are clearing the trees out, but not in any particular order. I no, no, no. Of... They just pick a random tree. <laughs> like, you gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> there is no rhyme and rhythm to what bots do. They just do what they do. Special logic. Mm. Right. Robot. Let's put the robot called oh, Greedy. All right, so we're making rails again. Awesome. I'm not sure why they're not being delivered to me, though, because I have requested rails and nothing is picking them up. But I guess it's because the robots are all busy. Yeah, currently doing mass deforestation. Yeah. And if you look... Uh, but that would be construction robots, right? This is logistic robots. Oh, okay. Uh, if you look down here at the mall, there is a, a bit of a activity. Yes, yeah, I think there's a fair few going on there. And that's, of course, because all the trains aren't set up yet. So it takes a lot of them, but... But we are making rails, and we have Ooh, uh, wow, 350. You know, your uh, making brick. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you, you could have just uh, belted that over. Just really yeah, that, 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 that's true. <laughs> that's true. But. What about when this place runs out? Then it's not real close. That's that's very really true. Yes, but we have a train there. Yeah. For that, so need a radar there. Let me remotely ask them to put a radar down. I don't even know if we have radars in the system, but I have a radar right here. Bang. There we go. That job as well. A lot of them are actually out of uh, stone. <laughs> yeah. That's true. We probably need a new uh, stone depot soon. This now. Okay, so this now has full Roman port coverage. Yay! Now I'm going to be horribly evil and tell the train uh, the trains. Tell the trains, yeah. Tell the trains to move out all the trees. Uh, Yeah, there's going to be an awful lot of logistic bots coming to me as well, trying to get rid of these 6,000 trees. Well, that's fine. That I don't want. I need to find a use for them trees. I don't know what. Yeah. Uh, what? The... I, I, I... In... There was nothing. In vanilla, there really is no use for trees. Uh, no. With, with some of the mods, like uh, I think with Bob's mod and some of the others, uh, trees are actually quite important. I seem to remember the very first mod I ever looked at for it was a charcoal mod. Ah. I seem to remember thinking that why can I not turn trees into charcoal, which are a lower form of coal, and uh, yeah. yeah, found a mod that did it, and then found a mod that allowed you to plant trees and grow trees. Like, oh. oh, awesome. So I now have an infinite supply of coal, basically. Yeah. Which wouldn't be very useful now, but... Uh, but then um, I suppose I suppose in a roundabout way trees can make carbon. Carbon could be a useful material later on. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Don't know. I'm just throwing something out there. Why not? Right. Okay. So I need to build a rail stop for the oil that can wait for an episode or seven, and uh, let's instead build an oil system. What am I doing? What do we need? So all this is going. So the next thing that I am going to do is going to be setting up red circuits, I guess. 
which I need your oil for. Or plastic. Aha. Right. I think it's if I should kind of make the plastic next to the oil. Would that make sense? Yeah, it would. You need coal for that as well. So that's another thing you need okay. coal for. Well, the, the coal train actually enabled. The coal train is driving around. Mm -hmm. And dropping off coal at your mall. Cool. So uh, he's doing his thing. And I have coal right near me as well. <laughs> So, really? Where, where are you? I don't even need the train for that, I just literally piped that in. Where are you? Oh, there. Oh, yeah. You have 14 and million coal, well, that should last for a little while. Yeah, but plastic up here, so I want to bring crude oil in, and then break it down. I need to figure out the ratios of stuff I cannot remember off my head. I should have gone back and watched the episode, shouldn't I? <laughs> Where I figured it all out, but I didn't. Okay. Yeah, you can do that later. So, I would like, if I may, to have some oil refineries. To have some chemical plants. And. Am I requesting no, the assemblers as well? Mark. Which are the ones that allow liquid? Is it two or threes? Sorry? Or both? Which ones? Which assemblers allow liquid to go in? Uh, threes. Threes. So I need to request. Uh, I don't think Not we have any. I have any idea if there are any in the system, but. I'm pretty sure we don't have any. Oh, I've got 15 on me, apparently. So. Uh, there's 28 on the way. Hmm. Maybe uh, they should have been used for uh, making stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, so, so, a lot faster at making things. Yeah, so, so uh, once we have those going, uh, being made automatically, I really want to upgrade all the uh, green circuits to threes and everything really to threes yeah yeah it's everything up to threes since yeah i'm sorry if you could hear me burping but it came by surprise uh, i did not hear it so right. i hope no one else did that uh, either <laughs> <laughs> it, it took me aback Don't need that instruction anymore. One. It really is mesmerizing watching all these machines work. I, I think maybe that is what makes Factorio such a great game is that you have uh, everything yeah. going yeah, and it, it, it's, it's just mesmerizing. I love it. Let me see what we want to do. And the fact that you've made everything do that. Coal liquefaction. Okay, don't need. So it's just advanced oil processing is what we need. I suppose for now we could do this. I am so happy I wasn't standing on the rails there because I could have been. Would not be good for your health. Nope. I suppose that works for now. Need a gap in between them. Yeah, I'm being finicky with it already. <laughs> right. Okay. So we want advanced law processing and all. No idea if uh, we need four or not. I have not checked the ratios at all. On this ship. 
come eventually. So, all right, red circuits. Water and oil. Oh, this needs water as well. Ah. Ah. Plastic bars, copper cable. I, I feel as if we may actually have to get a water train going at some point. Uh, we might. We might. <laughs> Because I've been going around filling in all the water, <laughs> not really thinking about it. Yeah, I think all this is set to be landfilled as well. That whole that whole thing is set to be landfilled. Uh, uh, there's no coverage on it. I would very much like all this water above the green circuits to be landfilled. That that could be yeah, could quite easily be landfilled. But we do need do some. Remotely. Both for oil and for uh, nuke power, right? Well, the nuclear power, when we move down the bottom, there's a giant, like, forever. Uh, yeah, that's true. We do have a bit of a train bottleneck up at the all about. Damn. Did, I did kind of think that that was going to come back and bite me. Well, as long as it's uh, as long as it's a love bite and not a mosquito bite or something, then it's fine, right? Well, I think it's going to be a train bite. What's, <laughs> what's, what's the problem here? Uh, yeah, it's, it's just that they take they take so long. Yeah. Oh, now there is something sticking a, all right, I'll, I'll run up there real quick. I think I know a way to at least improve on the situation. I was trying to change the central circuits. I put chain ones in and then I'm going to change to a normal circuit, no, normal rail stop. Uh, mm -hmm. to, uh, because now any train that's using the top half of the circuit shouldn't affect the bottom half. No. Uh, but I think if we put our rail chain signal in here and in here, then it should at least alleviate some of it. Ah, uh, yeah, spitting to four then, yeah. Oh. No, <laughs> that, that didn't help. That just blocked everything. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, no. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> uh. You... You'll have to actually get in that train at the top and tell it to reverse. Yeah. Set it to manual. Um, manual. It will reverse. But why isn't the other one going? Because uh, the whole thing's blocked up now because there were multiple trains on the. Yeah. Right. So in that case, I will just jump into you. Yeah, tell it to move forward a bit, and then hopefully it will start triggering everything. Yeah. I don't know if I'm dead or no. There. No, you got to set it to manual, and... Well, and then you can probably set it back to automatic, and it will do its thing. Right there. Uh, jump out. Oh my. So that's something that's going. You're going. I think there's a train that's not on automatic right now. But I'm not sure. Uh, I put one back on it. Uh, okay, thank you. So, yeah. Um, okay, so that wasn't a good idea what I did there. Yeah. So the, this this roundabout rail or oval about or whatever it is, um, it works, but it's really slow. Yeah. I think it needs to be split up into two. We need to move that entire horizontal line down a little bit maybe uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, we could move that one down. Or we could change up. Uh, I was thinking so that there's room for two roundabouts there. Yeah, you'd have to have a gap of uh, at least four in between them. Yeah. Um, I mean, the thing is, you don't technically, that top one where all that storage is, you don't need that to be a roundabout. That could just be a straight track and just have the one roundabout at the bottom. Yeah, that's true. But I left it because I put all the storage there, so that's why I left it. Yeah, I can understand that. Hello, what's happened there? Why has that stopped? Why has that stopped? Um, why are you stopped? Ah, because you're. Uh, there's something missing yeah. here. Put in, put in that. Uh, then rail stops in the center. That's it. There we go. That's that's not going to help. It's going to move it forward a little bit. Stop. There, there was a stop there. <laughs> I, I, it, there can't be any stops on. Oh, it's got to be after. Yeah, that would. Uh, the signal needs to be after. The chain signal needs to be before. So really, that signal doesn't need it. Actually, it does. It just needs to be down here. And we need a chain signal there. Seems to be a little bit better, right? Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I'm I'm I mean I, I try to avoid any any uh stops on the roundabout. Mm -hmm. So only one train could use the roundabout at once and then that made it flow. Yeah. Because having stops on the roundabout just doesn't, it just seems to cause other trains to wait for ages. And the stone train down here hasn't moved forever. Oh, now it's gone. somehow working right it's it's going it's going but um uh we we are out of time yes we are uh, it seems like trains are taking up an awful lot of our uh well everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah Tr trains take time to figure out oh they do indeed yes now everything is stopped yeah i think just getting rid of them rail stops in the center is, is gonna Yeah. Having it so that only one train can use the whole thing at once. No. Why are you used? Okay. Sorry, I'm doing things remotely. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, so now only one train can use the whole thing at once. For that, it stops anyone blocking the whole thing. Yeah. But then at the same time, only one train can ever go in that entire section. Yeah, yeah, as I said, it works, but it's slow. Yeah, yeah, we need to figure something out for that. But we'll have to do that next time. Yeah. Yeah. We will. We will. Okay, so, uh, yes, uh, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this one, and we do hope you will come back and join us in the next one. And uh, until then, as always, have fun. Bye-bye.